Welcome back to The Hub, I'm Tanya Rivero. It's graduation season and the class of 2014 has already achieved a rather troubling distinction. It is officially the most indebted class ever, with recent estimates suggesting a grad with student loans will now go out into the world strapped with $33,000 debt. For a closer look, we're joined by Pew Research Center senior economist Richard Fry. Hi Richard, thanks so much for being with us. I want to ask you, even adjusting for inflation, the debt of a college grad today is nearly double that of 20 years ago. What's going on? Uh, there's at least three factors involved. More um, college graduates are graduating from for-profit colleges and universities where they tend to take on more debt. As in many things millennial, it's taking college graduates a little bit longer to get that bachelor's degree. Um, in addition, what we sort of hope is we know that college students are increasingly diverse, coming from more low-income backgrounds. What I hope is the case is that more of them are actually graduating from low-income backgrounds, and therefore possibly some more of our borrowers are from low-income backgrounds. And so some of this may reflect sort of the changing nature of who's going to college. So it's a little bit of a double-edged sword, but this trend, we've been seeing this trend for a while, correct? I mean, this indebted class replaces the most indebted class from last year. Yes, and I would say that in the data I've looked at, you're right, this is at least 20 years. And another factor it sort of reflects, for those graduating from public colleges and universities, state taxpayers through their state legislatures used to be more willing to fund higher education. Mm. Yes. State taxpayers have decided that they're not going to pay the freight, and so increasingly students and their families are paying for their higher education. So what are the long-term implications, not only for these individual grads who are starting out with such a handicap, but for the economy as a whole? Well, for the grads themselves, as my recent report showed, it's a double-edged sword. On the one hand, graduates with student debt, in terms of sort of building a nest egg, what they own minus what they owe, they are behind in building wealth, their counterparts that didn't have to borrow. So they have less wealth. On the other hand, the data is also very clear, they gain, their household incomes are around typically about 57,000, whereas for those who don't have at least a four-year college degree, their incomes are only about 32,000. Hmm. So is, as is the usual sort of story, their incomes are much, much higher, and they will probably retain that advantage for many, many decades. So but rel relative to those that didn't have to borrow, they are behind in terms of building a nest egg. So it's a rather complicated picture, but even with all that debt and the constant questions that so many people have these days over whether such an expensive undergrad education is worth it, the answer right now is still yes, but at this rate, how much longer will the answer still be yes? Um, the typical sort of estimates, and I've done these, the economists at the San Francisco Fed recently did this, is that over a 40-year working life, you're looking of a gain relative to somebody who stopped their education at high school of anywhere from an extra $400,000 to maybe an extra $800,000, depending on what assumptions you make. And so using the numbers that you started the piece with, you're talking about a graduate investing about $33,000 today in student debt in order to have a payoff of anywhere of well over, you know, $400,000 to $800,000. And so, you know, as your journalist today concluded, clearly still today, for on average, for many graduates, yeah, a college education is gonna pay off for them over the long haul. And whether it's gonna continue to pay off, frankly, no one really knows because mm -hmm. we don't know going forward how employers are exactly gonna reward and favor the skills that college graduates have. The last 25 years, there's been a real payoff to college. Will that be true 15, 20 years from now? The labor market can change, and we right. don't exactly know, and it's hard to predict. And of course, the career you pick has a big, uh, big part of it as well. All right, Richard Fry of the Pew Research Center, thank you so much for that.